Yeah, so multiple myeloma is a hematological condition that, uh, for which the treatment changed dramatically in the last 10, 15 years. Uh, it had a dismal prognosis 20 years ago before the proteasome inhibitors were, uh, were introduced and uh, that actually revolutionized uh, the entire treatment for these patients. And uh, right now in 2023 for multiple myeloma, we have uh, available six, seven lines of treatment that uh, work fine and uh, actually turned or are actually helping turning this condition into from a hematological condition, a, a deadly condition into a pretty much a chronic di disease. So uh, right now internationally, there's a big debate on, about on using either CAR T cells or bispecific antibodies for the treatment of uh, of, uh, of this disease and uh, actually it's, uh, we're going to see in the near future which of these conditions uh, or which of these uh, therapeutical approaches actually work better for multiple myeloma, either a bispecific antibody or a CAR T-cell. So patient selection is very important and also the department of hematology that use it is very important because uh, it's very important to know that uh, CAR T cells can only be administered in uh, under certain conditions so not that many departments of hematology or not that many uh, centers are approved and uh, are uh, equipped and adequate to deliver this therapeutical option on the one hand but for bispecific antibodies a lot more centers pretty much are a little be a little bit eligible for uh, for treatment so we're going to see